Hello everyone, in this video we'll be solving this problem on toppling that came in J advanced, I mean JE 1991. It's a great problem. So in this problem, we have two blocks that are stacked on top of each other and the mass of block A is 2m and the mass of block B is 4m. There is no friction in between these two blocks and but there is friction between block B and the ground and the friction coefficient is given to be mu. So we have all, we also have a small object of mass m which is approaching the block B and the line of action is towards the center of mass of B. It's given and both of their lengths are 4D and the height of this is 2D as given. Now we have to find the minimum value of V0 or V for which the block A topples. That's question number one. And for part B, we are given that uh, v equals to v naught so and we have to find so let's say after collision this gains a velocity of u towards the left so it's going to be performing a projectile motion so we are required to find the range of that projectile motion after collision and that's question number b so and it's also given that we can ignore the role of friction during the collision which means we can which essentially just means we can conserve the momentum right because if we can ignore friction it's basically just saying that the horizontal net horizontal force is zero, which means we can conserve momentum. So beginning with the solution, let's first understand why would A topple. So let's say the velocity is such that the block B displaces towards, okay, first of all, the block A will not move because there is no, there is no force of friction between A and B. So there is no way that block A will accelerate. So the block A remains at its place and only the block B will move. And let's say the velocity of V was such that the block B got displaced by this much amount, such that the line of action of Mg of A is something like this. In this case, block A won't topple. The, but let's say if it displaced by this much amount, in this case, the line of action is towards the left and now the block A would topple about this point because it will have an anti-clockwise torque. So the minimum case would be when the block B displaces, displaces by an amount of 2D towards the right, because in that case, the line of action of the weight of block A is directly passing along the pivot point, which is this point, right? So that is the case in which the velocity is minimum for the block A to topple just when the block B is displaced by an amount of 2D. Okay, so now let's just analyze the FPD. So if we take A and B as a system and draw the FPD for both of them, or just taking both of them as a system, we know the weight of 6mg is acting downwards and the normal N from the ground. And after collision, when the block B gains some velocity, Kinetic friction starts acting between the block B and the ground. And we know the magnitude of kinetic friction is simply mu n, which would be mu times 6 mg. Okay, and the and we can find out the acceleration or basically the deceleration of B uh, is equal to F by 4m, which will come out to be this much. Again, block A will not accelerate because there is no friction. And okay, now let's just find out the velocities after collision. So before collision is given that it's approaching with a velocity v. After collision, we'll assume this to be v1 and this to be moving with v2, block b. Now, as it was given that we can ignore friction, uh, we can take the sigma fx to be zero and we can conserve momentum. So the initial momentum was mv and finally it would be mv1, which is the momentum of this, plus 4mv2, which is the momentum of this. So with that, solving that, we'll get our first equation. Now, next equation we'll get by using the fact that the collision is elastic. So we can say E equals one. E is also defined as the velocity of separation upon the velocity of approach between the two objects colliding. So now the velocity of separation is basically V2 minus V1 in this case. And the velocity of approach is just V. So we can write V2 minus V1 equals V. Now solving these two equations, we'll get the value of V2 and V1, right? Now, 
for block b now we know that now we know everything we know the velocity of block b we know the acceleration of block b and we also know the displacement of block b now we know the acceleration is going to be constant right because the friction is constant we can just use the kinematic 1d formula v square minus u square equals to s and after substituting for everything we'll get the value of v naught to be this this is the value for v in which the block a will just topple so yeah so now in the second part of the problem it's given that the velocity v is 2 v naught which means just it's going to be this right and in that we need to find so after collision we just calculated the velocity of the smaller mass to be 3 v by 5 towards the left so we just have to find the range of this projectile in the second part which is very easy since the vertical velocity is zero in this case we can um, find the time of flight directly to be square root 2h by g and as the horizontal acceleration is zero in this case we can write x to be just the speed multiplied by the time so after solving this we'll get the value of x to be this much which is the answer for the b option so please like and subscribe guys thanks for watching